out here at the Caesar Rodney Marathon. Uh, we're uh, about ready to kick it off here. Got a got a little two-hour pacing group going on. We'll be trying to get some uh, some runners during this race to uh, to cross the finish line in under two hours. I uh, can't wait to actually get this going. This is one of my favorite races here in Delaware. Um, a little bit hilly, but at the same time, uh, beautiful course, beautiful race. You know, hopefully we'll have a good time. Uh, you're going to be seeing some uh, some different uh, sites along the way here. I'll be recording pretty much the entire half marathon, and uh, you know, we'll uh, we'll be talking to you soon. Bye. Five, four, three, two. Very cool. What's yeah. your, uh, what was your last time? 2.17. Oh, cool. Yeah. Fun. Here we are. A little bit fast on this, but yeah. quite honestly, we're at a good pace. Right. So we're going to keep this up. We'll be checking in every mile. Yeah. Sounds good. Passing the lovely Blue Rock Stadium here to our left. If you ever want to come for a good family night with baseball, good food, not too expensive, great place to come. Three in the Caesar Rodney Half Marathon. Yeah. Hey, two hour group, how we doing? Woo! Yeah. Coming up here on mile four at the Caesar Rodney Half Marathon. Woo! Woo! Yeah, the delayed woo, I love it. Mile five here, guys. Thank you, Blue. Oh, sorry. Just passed the mile five mark at the Caesar Rodney Half Marathon. How we doing? Yeah. Mile six, done. Thank you, Blue. On our way to a two hour half marathon here at the Caesar Rodney. Hey, two hour. Yeah. Why do we run the uphills? Let's go downhill. For the downs. Yeah!
I'm with the two hour pacing crew. We got a 15 second buffer. We're coming up to the top of the here, hill here. Uh, we'll be uh, coming up to the lookout tower, which is uh, basically the start of the downhill in this race. I'm running here at Sharon. Sharon uh, hit us up on the Facebook request last night asking about the two hour pace group. And here we are, two hours out on the course. See you guys in a minute. All along the watchtower, Francis lit the fuse. Just past the now mine mark. Got about six seconds to spare off my pace. Really happy with the way things are going right now. We got a downhill straight away. One more uphill, crossing the finish line. Two hours, here we come. 10, we're about 18 seconds above our pace. So we have a good bank, ready for that last hill. All right, Caesar Rodney Half Marathon, two hour group, checking out. I got that. 149.55. Perfectly on pace. Mile 12, one more mile to go. Got that brutal uphill, can't wait. We just finished up the Caesar Rodney Half Marathon down there in Delaware, uh, right in uh, Rodney Square in Wilmington. Um, quite honestly, it's one of the uh, the best races that I think I've run. It's one of my favorites, that's for sure. Um, from the history of it, to from being uh, the oldest half marathon in America, 55 years going strong, to the the don the charity that it's for the the, the, the lungs. The American Lung Association. The American Lung Association. Um, you know, a lot of things that are, that are really good about this race. It's a beautiful race, it's challenging with the hills, and on top of it, I got the pace of the two-hour group. This girl right over here, Amanda, just ran a, a 204 marathon, beating her... Half marathon. Half marathon, sorry. <laughs> beating her, her, no. her silent goal of 205. Did beat my silent goal. That was your silent goal, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. How was your race? It was good. It was really good. I ran with my favorite running partner. Oh, Jill Morris. Um, Jill Morris. Yep. With Jill, and we both had a secret goal to run under 205, but we didn't tell each other, which makes it even more fun. Exactly. Um, but I do. This race is great. It's small. It's well run. The volunteers are fantastic. It goes to our great cause. It's definitely challenging. The back half is. A lot of hills, there's a lot of elevation gain, um, and then a really nice descent. So, highly recommend it if you're in the mid Atlantic, you're looking for a spring half marathon, a tune up for a, a spring marathon, or just looking to challenge yourself. I definitely would recommend coming out and running this race. Yeah, guys, and uh, get out and enjoy this beautiful day. Um, right now, it's 50 degrees, sunny. Um, you know, I'm so lucky to be able to run not only this race with um, my girlfriend here, but also with the, the people that we got to hang out with between Jim, uh, uh, Gene, and, and Michael Panna and JT King. Um, great people. Uh, honestly, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Please like, subscribe, and uh, we'll be talking later. All right, keep moving.